Hello all, today we are going to see how to create a virtual machine on Microsoft Azure. So I have logged into portal.azure.com and let's search for a virtual machine here so that we can create one. And in this tutorial, I'm going to create a CentOS virtual machine and I will click on hand here. That will navigate me to uh, creating a virtual machine blade. So here is uh, the basics page. You can select a subscription, and uh, it's optional that you can create a new resource group. So let me go ahead and create a new resource group. I'll click on create new, and let me give the name for the new uh, virtual machine to be in a resource group called demo vm rg and click on ok and let me give the virtual machine a name so i would like to give it a name as demo sent os vm and i would like to go on with the default region and the image I want to select is the operating system. I want is CentOS based 7.5. Let me select that. So, but before that, you can select the operating system from a wide range of available operating systems, and you can also search for all the public and private images available on Azure platform. So, you can also have the option to select the size of the virtual machine which is like the CPU and the RAM, the RAM and the memory. So you can click on this change size upon which you will be landed on a page where you can select a VM size. You can see the CPUs, RAM, database, max IOPs, temporary storage, primary disk support and the cost per month. So I will go on with the default one which is DS2, D2SV3 and I would like to have the authentication type as username and password. So let me give the username as demo user and the password. You, you must ensure that you should follow the green check marks here all right then optionally you can configure this i would like to go on with the default configuration for demonstration purposes you can explore the advanced options use and manage this yes that will allow me to reduce the bill on the VM resources that are being consumed and this is all the extra configuration that uh, a virtual machine creation wizard allows you to do I'll simply click on next here are the options for management how you want uh, the VM to be monitored and the identity and auto shutdown by default it is on ensure that you select off if you don't want the vm to be switched down shut down and click on next these are the cloud init extensions if you want to install any extension you just have to click on select an in extension to install and you may select from the wide range of options that are available here for now I just go on with the default configuration I'll be on create so on the final page uh, you will see the product details and uh, the validation is passed for the configuration that you have chosen or configured during the creation of virtual machine 
and the basics you will see to which subscription it belongs to the resource groups and the name of the virtual machine all the related information is available here and finally click on create so this generally takes uh, three to five minutes and I'll come back once it is done so here uh, the deployment uh, progress page has landed on once you click on refresh you will see the progress that's happening behind the screens here you can see the IP is being created the creation of IP is done then the storage is being created and then the network security groups are being created IP is the IP based on which you can access the virtual machine and the storage and network security group are also configured during this creation of the virtual machine let me refresh it the network interfaces has been created now now the VM is being created let me refresh the progress finally you can see that the virtual mission is created for us so if you can look at uh, the sequence of steps that happen first uh, the IP is created and the storage accounts are created and then the ne network security groups are created and then a virtual networks are added and network interface code is mounted and finally the virtual machine is built so let's go and look at how the VM can be accessed so here is the overview and you can access this VM from this screen the public IP address is the IP from which you can access or launch this uh, virtual machine.